So they both qualified for the Highland Eye Archery World Cup final, but you can bet that Mauro Nespoli is dying to get this target. Kim Wujin gets us underway and it is a 10 to start off with, a very confident 10 as well. Yeah, and uh, the, I just said uh, Wujin because I had to choose between two <laughs> titans of the sport, uh, to be honest. Um, and Mauro Lespoli has shot an incredible semi-final, so uh, maybe against all odds uh, I went for Wujin because it was just more of a gut feel than anything else. see uh, in his face and, and also during the shot you could see that it was taking just too long he was he was starting to shake a little bit more and then when he shot it he knew that was not gonna go in the middle so a marker set of 29 in this first set a little bit quicker but still into the night And there's definitely some wind out there now. You could see um, uh, the sleeve of uh, Kim Woojin's shirt uh, fluttering in the wind a bit. Um, and I think it's uh, it's really impressive how small his group is still. Um, if you consider that uh, uh, there's wind on the bow but also on the arrow. Uh, and that was another one of those, a little bit of a longer shot by uh, Nespoli. Making him shoot a 9 rather than a 10. <laughs> he just let that one go and almost remained motionless there. Yeah, it's uh, uh, as a competitor, it's it's almost annoying to see how effortless uh, Kim Woo Jin has uh, uh, his or forms his sh shots and uh, shoots at ten. Another twenty-eight set by uh, Nespoli, Kim Woo Jin, a nine to share the points, a ten to go four nil up, and uh, well. He starts set number three. And again, it's a, it's a nine, and it's not like shooting a nine is a bad thing uh, uh, to do every once in a while, but he's shooting more nines than he needs to shoot right now. I think uh, Wujin seems to be shooting so well that uh, Mauro needs to be uh, stepping, up, stepping up his game right now. But, yeah, like I said, he probably knows that as well. Gets it into the 10. Putting some kind of pressure if uh, Kim Wujin experiences pressure at all. Just outstanding. Hold his nerve for the best arrow of the match from him. High score of 29, but the gold medal and a second stage win is available if Kim Woo Jin can hit the 10. Oh, he snuck it into the 9 for a 29. The match stays alive here. Kim Woo Jin still between Kim Woo Jin and Mauro Nespoli. Nespoli trailing, shoots first in the fourth set into the 10. This is what the Italian needs. Those dark clouds looking ominous above. But so is Kim Woo Jin. Just incredible. It's not, the, it's not the first time that we've seen somebody shoot 29s in a final match or uh, even shooting a lot of 10s and we've seen Kim Woo Jin um, shoot a match of only 30s in, in Tokyo but just the, the group size and the uh, seemingly the, the ease with which he does it that's just uh, 
the impressive part for me. So a 28 means that an 8 is all that's required for the second stage win of the season for Kim Woo Jin. Oh, and he looks like he's hit another 10 and it's another perfect score in the 